This is AP News Minute. A plane carrying Americans from a quarantine cruise ship in Japan landed in California. A second plane landed in Texas. More than 300 Americans will have to remain in quarantine for two weeks. Most of the Democratic presidential candidates are focused on Nevada ahead of that state's upcoming caucus. A number of candidates accused billionaire Mike Bloomberg of trying to buy the election and said they want to debate him. General Motors announced it's pulling out of Australia, New Zealand and Thailand. The company said it's trying to leave markets that don't provide enough of a return on investments. The overflowing Pearl River is rising, threatening to flood more parts of Jackson, Mississippi. Rain is forecast this week and the state's governor says it could be days before the floods recede. China is reporting close to 2,000 new coronavirus cases and almost 100 more deaths. However, Chinese health officials say the vast majority of cases have been mild and the number of new cases has been falling. The Boy Scouts of America has filed for bankruptcy protection in federal bankruptcy court. The 110-year-old organization is facing hundreds of sex abuse lawsuits. Democratic presidential candidate Bernie Sanders fired away a rival Mike Bloomberg during a rally in Tacoma, Washington. The Vermont senator got loud cheers when he said it's time to tell Bloomberg he won't be able to buy the 2020 election. The Pearl River in Mississippi is forecast to fall below major flood stage after cresting at just under 37 feet. Mississippi's governor warned hundreds of evacuees not to rush home until authorities give the all clear. Hundreds of people left a cruise ship docked in Yokohama, Japan after a quarantine was lifted. More than 3,700 people were on the Diamond Princess, and more than 500 of them were found to have the coronavirus. Former Illinois Governor Rod Blagojevich was able to go home after President Trump shortened his prison sentence. Blagojevich was convicted of political corruption and says he hopes to fight corruption in the criminal justice system. More jury deliberations are expected on Wednesday in the trial of movie mogul Harvey Weinstein. He's accused of raping one woman and forcibly performing oral sex on a second woman. Six Democratic presidential candidates are set to debate in Las Vegas on Wednesday ahead of the Nevada caucus. It will be billionaire Mike Bloomberg's first time on stage with the other candidates. Democratic presidential candidates debating in Las Vegas turned up the heat on newcomer Mike Bloomberg. The billionaire was criticized for the stop and frisk police policy from his time as New York mayor. Elizabeth Warren blasted him for his company's non-disclosure agreements with former female employees. President Trump also was in the Southwest holding a rally in Phoenix. He criticized the Democratic Party for its position on crimes and guns and for the Iowa caucus vote counting troubles. A suspect and 10 others are dead after a mass shooting in Germany. Authorities say most of those killed were found in two bars where people gathered to smoke flavored tobacco. And residents are returning to evacuated parts of Jackson, Mississippi as floodwaters recede. Hundreds of homes and businesses remained without power on Wednesday. Intelligence officials warn congressional members that Russia is trying to interfere in the 2020 election. Three officials familiar with a closed-door briefing say Russia is trying to help re-elect President Trump. A senior administration official said President Trump complained that Democrats would use the information against him. Thousands of Americans have already voted early, ahead of Saturday's Nevada Presidential Caucus. The state used to be reliably Republican, but it has turned Democratic in recent years. Police in Idaho say a shooting at an apartment complex for senior citizens has left two people dead and three injured. A suspect was among the dead, and one of the injured is a police officer. 11 Americans who returned from a quarantine cruise ship have been moved to hospitals. Delayed test results from Japan show the 11 have the new coronavirus. Mike Hempen, the Associated Press, with AP News Minute.